Hi guys, um, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thanks for checking back. Um, in today's YouTube, it's probably my favourite sort of YouTube and blog I've done um, together. It's all on jackets, but it's all on biker jackets. Um, that's the style I love the most. That's the style I've got like pretty much a lot of in my wardrobe. Yes, I've got a few other leather jackets here and there, but the main style I love, and I think which suits me the most, is the biker jacket style. In this YouTube video, I'll be talking about all the biker jackets I have uh, in my wardrobe, which are down here. Um, and obviously you can go across and have a look at my blog as well, which you have to check out if you love biker jackets. If you want a biker jacket, I wanna tell you where's good to get them, the biker jackets I have, how to style them up. Um, and obviously you go across to my blog, to look across um, all the photos I've got pictured on my blog. It looks really good, and I think this is the best blog I've done so far. So hopefully the YouTube video will be like that as well. And here we go. Right guys, I may as well start off with my favourite leather buyer jacket. I only got this jacket a couple of weeks ago, um, but it's gone straight in at number one of the favourites. I've always wanted a, like a jet black biker jacket, and I think I've got the biker jacket of my dreams. Um, this is it here. So again, it's from the Kubo's my favourite brand, but it is just the coolest, sweetest jacket I think I've ever seen. Um, it's jet black, it's got the silver buttons, silver zips, everything sort of like silver on it and black so there's the clasps on the side i absolutely love this is probably one of my favorite bits of the whole jacket the clasps on the side and just the little zip how it doesn't just go sort of just on the front of the jacket that actually zips around and then it bends around the back of the jacket just a nice little feature really nice little sort of like stylish feature it's got the classic opening uh, it's got the epaulets which i wasn't really a fan of but now i think i've sort of like grown to love them um, the epaulets are really really sound really like it but it's probably the best quality leather like even the smell the smell is amazing like, it's so so good um it's a lamb's leather it's super soft um but i just love it it's just so nicely sort of detailed um it's got a nice sort of just a cotton line into it um but even the pockets the pockets are lined leather it's just like really really cool biker jacket uh, it's got a nice little pocket down here sort of like so it's a little bit like one of the 80s jackets but obviously if you get a vintage 80s jacket they're like they're always quite wide they're always much more sort of boxy um so obviously i think if you get one today um, rather than like a vintage one you're not getting that bulk and the heaviness because obviously back then they were actually made for people on bikes if you fell off that was the protection you had these ones are more of a fashion jacket so obviously you're much more thinner but to be honest i love the thinner sort of fitted ones rather than the uh the thicker sort of like really old school 80s uh, biker jackets but this one as well it's got little sort of the coupons either an emblem or just like written in all the buttons which is which is cool um, but as I say this has gone straight in as my number one favourite biker jacket um, I've worn it a couple of times um, just sort of out and about here and there but every time I put it on it's like I know I think it's probably new and I know when you get something new you're like right this is the best thing ever but to be honest I think this is my favourite um, biker jacket um, and you've just got to have a black one there's a lot of photos on my blog. Um, I went sort of down South Shields where it's got this really cool, it's where Barber actually filmed a campaign and sort of um, took a lot of photos for that. I think it was like 2016 campaign um, and it's next to this big red lighthouse, but they're all black and white photos and to be honest, I think they're really, really cool. So you've got to go and check that little blog out. And as I say, all the links are below or you can find me on my blog via my Instagram account. But that is jacket number one. Biker jacket that I've sort of worn the most and sort of the biker jacket what I've had the longest is this one here it's still a really really cool biker jacket like that one before i've just been talking about it's not got the pockets in the front so when you want sort of want to walk sort of put your hands in your pockets you can't do that because there's only there's a high zip and you can't just walk around your uh, sort of hand there or there's just that little sort of pocket i told you about um but there's not the two sort of pockets which i think uh, i sort of miss when i'm wearing that jacket but this one my first um leather biker jacket this was from all saints um, when I used to work there, this was the first sort of big piece I got and I loved it. I still really, really love it now. I still sort of get the wear out of it and I've probably had it for six, six years now. I mean, it's like an old jacket, but still, the quality's still there. It's kept its colour, it's kept its style. Um, these are really, really cool because I think the All Saints uh, jackets now have just like your normal sort of zip. But in the past, they did these ball bearing zips and the ball bearing zips, I think I just like the most. They still do this um, jacket now. Um, I think it's just a little bit darker. They change the colour very, very slightly and sometimes they change the buttons. So this big button that is used on the sort of sides and the bottom of the jacket as well. But it's just a little bit more boring. I think with the uh, the ball bearing zips, I think it's just a quite a nice touch. But as I say, this has got the 
the pockets there. So when you're walking with this jacket, you can put your hands in your pockets. It's a nice sort of like sort of easy access to your pockets. You can store loads of bits in, bits and bobs, your phone and things. But yeah, this is the jacket I sort of, sort of I've always always loved. Um, I didn't. I actually had the classic grey. It was the cargo bike, and still do it now. Grey black. Um, I had that one as well. But to be honest, so many people bought it, and it's been. I think. I remember sort of it was the Roll Sense number one selling product for months and months and months. I think it still is now. You just see loads of people wearing them. But I think the sort of the, the bluey sort of um, black colour, there's a little bit more sort of, um, it's not worn by that many people. But it's still quite a cool jacket. I mean, I've got this in extra small, um, but to be honest, it fits me pretty perfectly. Um, but I do I do still love this jacket. It's really sweet. It's got the sort of um, cross hatch sort of pattern on the shoulders. Um, which you can tell straight away it's All Saints but that's it, you can spot an All Saints jacket a mile off um, it's just, I think it's their statement piece I think that or the military boots they used to do with those two pieces where you can just go right, that's All Saints but uh, yeah, that's jacket number two, still love it but I'm wearing that one most don't tell this one biker jacket number three, um, I love wearing but I told you quite a lot about in my wardrobe exclusive it's this one, it's this other Koopals one with the um, snake skin sort of suede leather um, so I'm not going to bang on about this one but I still love it, it comes out the wardrobe every now and again and it's just it's really easy to wear, it's really cool it's a little bit different as I say um, so it's not like your normal stereotypical jacket because of the print um, but that's my sort of third sort of favourite still love it, still wear it loads um, and it's just really really sweet on looks good. Jacket number four again is another suede jacket from the Koopals, I really really need to stop buying stuff from their website um, as you can see, it's a sweet little black suede biker jacket. Same opening, nice sort of big sort of collar. It's got small little epaulets on the shoulders. Um, it's got the cross hatch effect across the shoulders as well. And that also runs down the side of the jacket, um, down from the elbow. I think obviously again, that's sort of took a little bit of um, inspiration from an 80s jacket. Obviously if you fell off your bike in the 80s, you had the sort of the padded sort of um, shoulder um, leather as well so there's obviously a little bit more leather so if you did came off your bike you'd obviously skid across the ground it wouldn't sort of injure yourself obviously um, you'd obviously rip your jacket bit of a nightmare but this one being a fashion sort of jacket if you came off your bike with that you'd probably sort of rip your arm off never never mind ruining your jacket um, so but that's a nice little sort of like design feature they've took from an old sort of jacket which has inspired them sort of to put it on that jacket as well it's a nice sort of little thing this one has got um, pockets in the front, but they're a little bit too high, so you're walking around a little bit like that, when it's just a little bit better dropping those shoulders and walking around with sort of nice little pockets um, in the front. But still, they're there for sort of just more of the look, but those are nice pockets, nice sort of like silver zips. I think the silver zips on this do look the best, because they sort of obviously stand out much, much more um, on the black sort of suede. It's got the silver sort of pop button press studs as well. Um, on the back, they've got some, it's got the same sort of like, the Coopers love doing this with jackets, I think the, the love a clasp, so they get the little sort of zip on the bottom of the jacket and then they stick a clasp on either side and I think it does sort of, it just make the jacket look much more cooler, just a little bit of a twist, it's a little bit of an add-on so it just looks better when you've got those clasps I think on the on the side of those jackets. I think to be honest like every jacket from the Coopers have, have those little sort of like straps, little sort of buckles on the side which I think are just really really um, sweet, really really cool, um, but as I say this is a really nice jacket. I wear it pretty much, pretty much all the time. Um, it's really, really light, so it's really, really good for the summer as well. So obviously, some of those jackets you couldn't wear in the summer because it's a little bit too hot because they're pretty heavy. But this one, it's really, really nice because it's just such a light sort of jacket. To be honest, when you're wearing it, when you're wearing it open, it's just like you got a t-shirt on. You can take it off. It's like even if it gets like really, really really warm it's not that bad some of those will be like you couldn't couldn't wear them at all but this is a nice sort of transitional piece into the summer um but yeah really really like it and uh, that's jacket number four getting on to my fifth and final jacket um this one's a little bit different um and it's the first thing i ever bought from zara um i know sort of the women's wear there's always like everyone you always see on instagram it's like women's are women's are and the everyone go like they all go mad about a certain jacket or a certain coat and you see that coat everywhere or that jacket everywhere it's much cooler than like the men's gear i think the men's gear is still sort of like just a normal high street so i think zara women's is obviously good zara man's it's getting better i think it got better after i bought this jacket because i spotted this jacket in there so it's the biker style again it's got the sort of um diagonal zip on the top 
It's got the classic biker style opening, big collar. Um, it's got small epaulets on as well. It's got the little sort of um, pocket here, like my first biker jacket, and it's like it's reenacted and sort of redesigned into quite quite a few sort of like modern biker jackets. It's just that little one, sort of the little design they've grabbed from the eighties, and I think it looks really cool. That little pocket. I mean, to be honest, I don't think I've ever used that little pocket, but it's just like a nice little design feature. Looks quite cool. Uh, this one also has a cool sort of belt tie on the front it's got the metal studs and it's got sort of the tie um it's got a nice jangly effect so you know how i like my jangly effect on my rings and my necklaces it adds to the the sound and um, which is cool um but yeah this is a little bit different for me because it's brown to be honest like all the other ones you've seen they're just more of a gray black um sort of color pattern this one is a little bit different because it's brown but i really really like it it's uh, it's really cool it's really easy to wear um they do something uh, similar in Zara this year, so if you really like this jacket, you can still go out and sort of get a um, sort of a warm what looks very much the same online now. Um, I can link that below if you want to check it out in the video, or you can go across to my blog. I think it's all on there. But yes, this one, as I say, it was the first thing I ever bought from Zara. I have bought a couple of jackets. Um, I've sort of thought I can get away with, and to be honest, I can get away with um, from the women's section. Um, as I say, it's just much cooler. But the men, sort of the men's section of Zara. Is much better than it was so if you've not been in or if you want to have a look around I think it's a sort of a really good place to sort of get a couple of key pieces and even sort of like some of the t-shirts they're doing there's quite nice but it's one of those shops where if you spot a t-shirt in the women's section you get the size bigger you can pretty much just pull it off it's easy um, so it's quite good for that as well just having a look around what's on offer in both sides of the store um, it's quite cool but as I said this leather jacket suede leather jacket sorry biker jacket um, it's a good one, I like the belt, it's a little bit different because all the other ones have either got clasps but they've not got a tie around belt, I think that's a really really cool sort of feature. Those are the five biker jackets I absolutely love, I wear all the time um, and they're just a key piece you have to have in your wardrobe as I said. Um, you've got to check out the bikers, I think they're really really cool. If you want some inspiration you head across to my blog, everyone should have a biker, that's my opinion. Um, I hope you enjoyed this um, YouTube video, um, I really enjoyed this, is probably my favourite one so far, I've sort of blogged about. I love doing the blog, I love doing the photos, and I loved featuring my favourite jacket, the biker jacket. So I hope you liked it as well. Um, thanks for watching this video. If you want to subscribe, please subscribe. If you could do that, that would be sweet. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in a bit.